Opening uh, statement. Well, I told the team I wish we'd have made some of the threes in the second half we made, it, or some of the threes we made in the second half we'd have made in the first half. Because it was, you know, I thought, uh, I, and I told the team and I told our staff today that I thought their zone on film, I thought their zone was better than what we had seen from them over the last few years, um, which I think is a credit to a lot of, they got a lot of new players, but I thought their zone was active. I thought they communicated well. And even though we took a lot of threes, I mean, and, and a lot of them were open, but I thought um, I, what, what happened kind of in the first half was what I kind of had feared happened. That was we'd shoot a lot of threes and, and they wouldn't go in. And they didn't, you know, they didn't go in. But, uh, you know, just, I mean, I didn't, it was great to have Jalen back, I think. I did not dream I'd play with 33 minutes. Um, I thought it would have like maybe a one and a three, 30, or 13. Yeah. I mean, I, was, I did not anticipate, I mean, I'm not giving my secrets, but I didn't think we, I would play. But the way the game played out, I think we needed her out there defensively, defensively too. I mean, you know, she had nine boards and four assists and no turnovers. And then uh, this other, other Chloe, she was, she was good too. I mean, she was, you know, I mean, just I thought, she played with great poise. It wasn't just that she made shots. She, she made, you know, she, she made plays defensively. She had two steals, but she tipped balls. And then, you know, she made good plays getting into the paint and kicking it out for, 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 for shots, which at her size isn't easy to do, probably. But uh, so she played great, and we, we needed that. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought, uh, you know, I'm, you always wish that it would. Maybe we have been a little bit easier, but then when you when you think that we had to, you know, that we had to play with a little more pressure, um, it's probably good for us. Um, so questions um, for the student athletes. We got we got to get to the line more though. So to do it against this name. Yeah. Um, I guess Chloe, uh, you know, Flynn kind of mentioned the uh, size advantage. I mean, better length and activity in that zone, and uh, you know, playing mistake free ball, still finding space to shoot like. How did you navigate tonight in, in, in order to have like an efficient night shooting ball passing? Yeah, um, I'd probably just say getting to the right spots in the zone, finding the open spots on the three point line, and then just being ready to shoot so I have the time to get it off. Um, yeah, the, the one in the corner was like a rainbow. Did you <laughs> I know. adjust that over the defender? Yeah, the I definitely adjusted that. I had a defender flying at me with their hands up, and I thought it was going to get blocked. So. <laughs> But on, on a night like that, where it, you know, as a team, you guys don't really start the game shooting it well, what, where's the confidence come from to sort of still step into a shot and fire it, you know, thinking that it's going to win? Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of shooters, shooters on our team. So um, as shooters, you keep shooting even if you're um, missing. So I think um, just getting that confidence. And then once we started making shots, we got the momentum back and got on a roll. Jalen, you said the shot was going to take a while and then you go three for six. I mean, it's probably different for not as good shot shooters as it was. But how did you feel when you saw the first one go in and how did that affect your activity, I guess, throughout the game? Yeah, I felt good. Um, I always feel good to um, um, see that first one go in. But yeah, um, I really I tried to focus on um, rebounding this game for sure. Um, and then um, offense, you know, sometimes you feel a little better when your shot's going in. <laughs> and so that probably made. Um, like the activity level better on defense and um, for you to go hard to the last two. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> really proud of our effort. I think it's the best that we've ever um, played against Creighton. And uh, we knew uh, we have to make a choice against this team whether you're going to totally take away the three or whether you're going to um, give it to them and just make everything hard. And we said at the beginning of everything, we were going to have to make them make 14, 15, 16 threes to beat us. And I think um, the game went that way. And if you, if you can make 14 threes in a game, you probably deserve to win the game. So I thought we had great looks. I thought our kids really did a good job of stepping in and, and reading the style that was out there. But they competed hard for 40 minutes. And, um, and it went the way we wanted to wanted it to. Two questions for Coach Roy. It seemed like uh, Brianna was really active and yep. getting to her spots tonight and trying to be aggressive. Like, really, really think, yeah. Um, just of her mindset to start the game with her. Absolutely, and then just about, obviously the result is not what we want, but as far as the style part of thing went well, Rayana um, did a great job. Um, people are going to try to uh, double Elena and 
side and they're going to try to pick somebody and it's usually going to be Rayana and I felt like she did a good job of not settling and getting into the mid range which is where she's really really good and she looked confident out there um, you know she's somebody that has all the athletic ability in the world and her skills catching up to her but if she keeps progressing like this and proving teams wrong on the scouting court then that's going to be really good for us you alluded to it, but so the zone, you just kind of wanted to pack it in a little bit or just try to make them uncomfortable if they got it mm -hmm. inside? Well, or? well, the zone is what we do, and yeah. I felt like the threes they made, um, a hand was in their face, you know, even if it wasn't uh, running them off the line, but we did a great job in the first half, and then, you know, they had to make contested corner threes in the second half in favor, who 6'2", had to elevate over, not elevate, but release it a little bit higher over our smaller guards to make those, so right. we look at the film, everything was covered up, um, I think with our young group of learning to anticipate a little bit better is the next step for us. But, I mean, you hold a team to 64 on their own uh, court and they had to make 14 threes to get there. Uh, you feel really good about our defensive effort.